guys so this is our Nikon P1000 um, it's 125 times as you can see the sign here optical zoom and it's 24 to 3000 millimeter and its footage is raw 4k so anyways to start up I will just show you the basics on how to use this camera so usually I have this one for safety on my shoulder so that I won't drop it so I'll show you here so for startup we have I always put this one to protect the lens so when I'm gonna use it I take it out and you have to put this this way to protect it from the sun and you just tear it click when it's already in place so i will start you with the buttons to start up my filming here i can do this one flip it that way and if i want to film myself and i want to see how it's doing just be careful not to force this which that goes away so you can see yourself from there you know this is the camera so when I'm outside, I will just, for safety, I will put it inside here, that way. And here's our on and off button here. And just the basics, guys. And if you want to film yours, um, when I start filming, you just see this red button here. You just click on that, which mine is already recording, so I'm not going to click it and this one here is for taking pictures and also for focusing when you are filming all right if you want to focus like this one here just I uh, show you the bottom when I was showing so right now I will focus it on the rock so you'll see those squares on the screen just remember to put the squares where you want to focus it. Right now it's focusing on the leaves, which I don't like that. I want it on the rock. Oops. There you go. Right now it's focusing on the rock as I want it to be. And that's how you get your focus and then after that that's when you hit your um, record button to have a clear shot on what you're filming and you got the delete button here if you want to delete some of your videos so one thing you want to remember is for zooming in it doesn't really actually work when you're already recording and you want to focus so what you can do is start recording and focus before you hit this red button here so I will show you an example okay, about here. The zooming in about the focus I will give you an idea here a demo okay right now we're gonna focus on that flower right on that yellow planner thing so what I do is I record now and I will just try to zoom in on it and I will show you what I mean see as you can see the video is blurry when you do that so I will just turn off the video and now what I did here was just turn off the recording and then just click the focus button and it usually have square on it as you do that so this is how it looks like after it zooms in so if you really want to zoom like this one all you do is on your editing so I will just zoom out So this part here would not be included on my video if I was doing this 
and I will just zoom in like this one. As you can see, it focuses on the flower. This is, by the way, the for zooming in. I will just give you a little bit. Um, there you go. As it zooms in, I don't know if you can see the pictures there. And as you can see, the lens is going that way. So it's really, really hard to focus without. Um, so as you can see. The footage of it is kind of blurry, so you just click this one to focus. Oh, I forgot. You cannot focus when you're already in record button. So for you to be able to focus, you have to turn off the recording. So anyways, I'll just put it back. And it will turn it back. So one thing you have um, about this camera is really heavy. So when you are zooming in really, really far, and if you don't have a tripod, even with the tripod, a little movement can, um, a little just breathing or when you are in the water, a little movement can move the video. As it's really, really movable. So if you are filming, it is great place to film and learn because you know if you're in the water it's usually shaking all the time this one is an example of a uh, footage taken while we were standing by the pier so these are caused by water movement yeah, it moves a lot. and if you don't have tripod it's really really good not to move at all when you are trying to film. Well, you'll get used to it as you use it that much. Now, to take off your battery in memory card. So this is the front right, you just turn it back. Careful, it's because this is heavy. So usually, um, you just um, flip that that way. And here's your battery. So there's three, as you can see, there's strings there inside. So I'll just put the strings where the empty. And I'll just push that yellow thing there and push it down to the clip. And here is our memory here. You just push it down and you got it. And face those bars towards the center or towards the lens. And you just position it like that and push it down. And this one, it automatically open up. So you just have to hold it and then press this forward. So that's how you close your stuff. And this one here is for your tripod, whatever you bring. Just make sure it is stable enough to hold this heavy camera. Anyways, the battery lasts for three hours if you're just taking pictures and stuff, but if you're taking more videos and stuff, just make sure to bring some extra because it will take more of your batteries. One thing also when you were filming and using this camera, when you're trying to zoom in this far, you're gonna have this hit signature like that. Although you can see it, but it's not that, you know, perfect footage, but, you know, all those um, sun, signs of heat or something like a blurriness. Right, moves a lot. Even though you focus it, it's not going to be as clear because it's that too far. It's the water. This camera is a little bit pricey, but if you have vlogs if, or if you are a photographer, this is really a great camera to have. It, it is really easy to use and it is very helpful trying to zoom in things that is too far from you and it takes really, really great footage. I would totally recommend this to anybody. 
and I have the link down below for you guys to check out on the pricing on this camera. Thank you for watching.